Yes, Ravens, it's about time. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like got a So YouTube team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And yes, the Ravens are finally, finally, finally giving us what we've been asking for now we talked about a couple of weeks ago how the ravens they had just been so hush hush about everything we hadn't heard a peep out of them they did make some future roster moves and whatnot but other than that we hadn't heard a sound and when we made the video talking about the ravens they were just too quiet right after that the ravens were like oh do you hear me now because they've been making a lot of noise recently and now, uh, to actually get some official noise directly from the Ravens, because we've seen them make some moves, obviously, but they, those moves that they made came with statements. But now, now we get to actually hear directly from a John Harbaugh, directly from an Eric DaCosta, directly from even the new defensive coordinator, Mike McDonald. Now, I know, because I, I was one of them too. I was wondering, whoa, why, why, why doesn't Giro have a presser? But Jeff Zrebig, he cleared that up quickly, and he said, well, the coordinators, they don't usually have the presses. It's usually just the coaches, and, and the only reason that Mike McDonald has one is because he's being introduced as a new coach since he's Ravens' new defensive coordinator. So, hopefully that clears some stuff up, but one of the biggest things that we as fans wanted to know is, hey, Ravens, like... What's going on? What's happening? What's popping with the team? Because you even look at a team like Buffalo. You look at a team like Buffalo who, in that division round game against the Chiefs, oof, heartbreak for those Buffalo Bills because it's so tough when you do everything right, but the game still goes wrong. Oh, that hurt for them. But my point in bringing up that game is that shortly, a couple days after that game, they had a season-ending press conference. They even announced that they were going to be picking up uh, Ed Oliver's fifth-year option. So they, they did that within a span of a couple of days after, after their playoff game. But the Ravens, who hadn't even been in the playoffs, we hadn't heard nothing out of them. And I was just put on a couple of days ago that that is actually the rule that I believe within seven days after your season ends, you have to do a presser. It's one of those NFL media rules that you have to do a presser and the, the coach or the CEO or whatever, they have to speak to they had to speak to the media, and, and that's mainly to cater to fans. And it's been <laughs> Ravens season ended a little while ago, but now we finally are getting a presser. And just to give you a quick update, the, there's going to be a couple of pressers this upcoming week. The first one uh, is going to be John Harbaugh. He is going to speak to the media on Monday at 1 p.m. So set your alarms. Even though you know Ravens, they, they be running late for a lot of these presses. But it's okay. I don't mind. I run late for my live streams too. So we on the same page. On Wednesday, Mike McDonald, he's going to be talking to the media. Um, and that's going to be at 1 p.m. And then on Friday at 10 a.m., so bright and early. I know a lot of people, they're going to be at work. They're going to tell their managers like, ah, I need a little break. I need, I need some personal time. Give me a good, quick little, give me an hour of PTO because this is important. Because at 10 a.m. on Friday, Eric DaCosta's going to speak. Now, um, they, they got a lot to address because, and, and this is where we've been talking about all offseason how we want coaches to be held accountable and how players need to be held accountable too. But now, Media, this is where us as fans are challenging you guys to ask the great questions, ask the good questions, because we don't want Harbaugh walking off like he walked off at that last press that he had, if, if you remember, because Harbaugh wasn't so team keep it clean with how he felt about some of the questions. <laughs> I just leave it at that. Um, but this is where the, the, the media people, this is a big opportunity. I mean, they have plenty of opportunities, obviously, because they're the ones that are asking the questions. But this is big because if you ask the right questions, you could possibly, it's not a guarantee, but you could possibly get the right answers. Now, I know one of the questions that so many Ravens fans have on their mind, and, and this is no matter what side of the fence you're on, but what is up with Greg Roman? Is he staying? Is he going? Again, every all signs point to him staying. All signs point to the Ravens retaining Greg Roman. But we just want it to be cleared up. 
so we can know what to hope for moving forward. But I would expect Greg Roman to stay, but it would be nice if we could get that all cleared up. Another question. Now, of course, we, we've all heard the rumors, and whether you believe the rumors or not, what is the status of Lamar Jackson's contract? And, and what is Lamar Jackson's status with the Ravens? How is he feeling? How's the, the rehab process going? But really more so the contract. And are you guys in contract talks? Have you guys resumed contract talks? Have you guys progressed when it comes to Lamar Jackson's deal? Do you feel like he should still get a deal? I mean, that should be an obvious yes, but still. What is the status of one Lamar Jackson? Hollywood Brown, are you going to pick up his fifth year option? What's the status on that? Are you thinking about it or are you all thinking about working out a long-term deal so he can remain with the team beyond next year? Like, what, What's the status of that? We just want some answers. Ronnie Stanley, and now I know this... Not even that it's early, but because it is the Ravens offseason. But how's Ronnie Stanley doing? How's his progress with post-surgery? How's that looking? What's his status looking like? Is he going to be ready at the beginning of the year? Are you going to have like a contingency plan, a just-in-case plan for Ronnie Stanley? And I know they can't give up all the goods when it comes to something like that. But it doesn't hurt to ask. Derek Wolf, who just had hip surgery, is he gonna be back on the team? Is it well? And of course, they can't. They're not gonna flat out and say, "Oh yeah, he'll be back." Oh no, we're gonna release him because the actions will definitely speak louder than words. But what are the expectations with him? Have you spoken to a Calais Campbell? Is he pondering retirement, or is he thinking about coming back, or do you guys want him back? Like. <laughs> If, if y'all want to hit somebody with a media pass, let me know. We got, we got plenty of questions ready. But these are just a few. Tyus Bowser. With Tyus Bowser, it's been, he's had the surgery for a couple of weeks now because he had it like right after. He, I think he had it within a couple of days after the game. But Tyus Bowser, what's his recovery time looking like? Is he going to be back in time for week one? Or is it looking like that, that, that injury is going to sort of linger or the recovery process is going to sort of linger uh, into next season? So you got plenty of stuff you can ask. The inside linebacker position, you got Patrick Queen, you got Malik Harrison. But based off your actions... And this is before, I mean, and you could see based off of when you watch film too, but based off of Ravens' actions, how they've treated the linebacker position, they obviously are not putting their full trust in one Patrick Queen to hold that down. How do you guys plan on addressing that? And one of the biggest questions that is going to be asked too, to John Harbaugh, and to EDC, I'm sure it'll, it'll be asked to both of them, depending on what John Harbaugh's answer is, because John Harbaugh's on Monday at the beginning of the week, EDC's on Friday at the end of the week. John Harbaugh, how far are you guys along when it comes to your contract? Have, have, have you signed it yet? Have you guys come to terms yet? What's the status of your contract extension? So it's, it's, it's a lot to be asked. So this is why, and there's plenty more too, but this is why it's important that the Ravens, the, the, the media, the people who have those media passes, that they ask the right questions. We rooting for y'all. We know y'all got it. And hey, feel free to take any of the questions from this video and incorporate them. Feel free. No problem. That one's on the house. Next time I'm charging you. But anyway, no, seriously, though, I, um, I, I hope it's, it's going to be very interesting, man, because uh, so many people have been waiting on this moment for so long. These we've been waiting on these presses for so long. And every time I brought them up, people be like, oh, no, Ravens haven't done those in years. No, no, they, they, they still do a season ending press conference. It ain't the state of the Ravens presser that it used to be with Bashadi and EDC and Harbaugh and Ozzy and all of them. But no, not, they, they have been doing them, though. They still been, they, and they have to do them. And we, us inquiring minds would love to know. We would love to know. So y'all stay tuned for those, because y'all already know we're going to be listening and covering those 
um, as they come out. Now, um, Anthony Levine, shout out to him, two-time Super Bowl champion, getting to retire on his own terms. Shout out to him. And Bobby Ingram, he's going to, he was a tight ends coach. He'd been a tight end coach for like the past two, three years. So, hey, shout out to him and Mark uh, Andrews' development because Mark Andrews went from this guy who had a lot of potential and made some nice big splash plays to this guy who, oh, wow, this dude is a consistent playmaker. Lamar Jackson's favorite target, it seems, to, oh, this guy is still a consistent playmaker. Oh, he doesn't really show up in the big moments, though. But he could work on that. But he's still got all the potential in the world to be one of the best tight ends in the league to this year. Being the best tight end in the league. And Mark Andrews did this with Lamar. Mark Andrews did this with Tyler Huntley. Mark Andrews did this with Josh Johnson. So Mark Andrews does this. He does this. Does he still have some stuff he got to work on? Oh, yeah. But that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. The fact that he still has some stuff that he can improve on. And he was the best tight end in the league this year. That says a lot. But kudos to uh, Bobby Ingram. He's going to uh, take on, like I said, the, the offensive coordinator position um, at, I want to say, Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it is Wisconsin. It is Wisconsin. Just had to double check. Um, so, yeah, that's that. But anyway, team keep it clean. I love y'all. It has been a crazy week. Ooh, and y'all know it's been crazy. It, it has been a lot going on. And apparently there's still a lot going on, but I, I love y'all. I thank you all so much. Shout out to every special shout out to every single team. Keep it clean uh, patron, because the fact that you all are willing to show extra support, it means a whole lot, a, a whole lot. I, I really appreciate y'all being willing to do that. Thank you. So. Y'all enjoy the, the AFC and NFC championship games. Another AFC championship without the Ravens. When the last time Ravens been in the AFC championship? Was it the 2012 season? I, I want to say it was. Yeah. It. Oh, hold up. Yeah, because the 2014, that was divisional. And then, of course, 2019, that was uh, divisional. So, yeah. Been a little while. Um, but we'll see who wins between the Bengals and the Chiefs. Whew. I honestly think the Bengals are going to get it. I really do. And that is going to be a slap in the face uh, to the Ravens. Um, but we'll see. We, we, we will see. Uh, I, I'm sure it's going to be a great game, a phenomenal game. Um, Bengals did beat the Pats. Or, I mean, not the Pats. Patrick Mahomes, they did take care of them uh, later on uh, in this season. Um, but... When you got to play somebody twice, especially, ooh, especially the Chiefs. Ooh, boy. I don't know, man. I did say I think the Bengals going to get it. That it, it could obviously go either way because it's, it's two teams that come to play. But, oh, man, it, it, it's going to be a great game. What, whoever wins, uh, it's going to be a great game. And, and, man, whoever wins is going to be in the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. So, congrats to the AFC winner. And that's that. I'm still going for the Rams to win the whole thing. Hopefully, the Rams take care of business. But we'll see Anyway I love y'all so much I appreciate y'all so much And just like the Ravens All, all their, their top dogs Their front office guys Can be no longer Cause you know they, they've been hiding They've been hiding John Harbaugh they, They've been hiding They've been ducking They've been like shh They've been like Hey me, media been like Hey come in But John Harbaugh and them been like Oh no We out But not no more Love y'all Y'all stay up we go, baby. Keep it clean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, gotta made it. Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and graven, right and graven. Shout out to Graven.